What's up, Spenny here. So Palantir released another contract on April 31st. Now, some of you might already know of this news. It's the Los Angeles Air Force Base contract. So SMC awards $32.5 million to Palantir. Uh, this is obviously for their data as a service. And, you know, they go into the details down here. I'm not going to bore you guys with all the nitty gritty details. It's just basically talking that they're going to use Palantir and the contract is for about $32 million. What I do want to cover in this video, though, I do want to cover the chart. Some, uh, you know, not so great things is happening. The technical side of Palantir is looking pretty weak right now. I also do want to get talking about inflation right now and what's been going on in the tech sector as a whole. And where there's some concerns, I do want to point out for you guys. Uh, and also, I want to show you guys just a little bit of an update on my portfolio. So I never really do give you guys updates on my portfolio. I don't want to show you all of my positions. But once in a while, I don't mind showing you guys some brief updates on my portfolio. If you're interested in seeing more of what I buy, make sure to comment down below. Let me know if you want to see that. And um, I can definitely make sure to add that to my videos more often. Uh, so what you're seeing here is just one of my option portfolios. Uh, this one I invested in just two months ago. So this is only two months old of a portfolio. I invested 49,000, it's worth 71 now. Uh, so TAP is one of my largest positions. This is Molson Coors. I'm up very nicely on these options as you can see. Leslie's is a play that just released earnings. Uh, smashed earnings as I predicted because we had information that Wall Street didn't have. So I did expect them to absolutely destroy earnings. So this one is up nicely as well. Uh, not planning on selling this one yet. I do want to see how the next trading week goes. And then OLN is my most recent position. I just bought this one two days ago. Uh, super bullish on this stock. If you guys want a video on it, make sure to comment down below. Uh, a lot of good news around this one. And then I got uh, VRA and Leslie's. Anyways, this is a Palantir video, so I'm not going to bore you guys with my portfolio, but make sure to comment down below. I am curious if you guys want to see what I'm buying. Now, getting back to Palantir, uh, I did have these two trend lines that we were trading in this channel for quite a while, and this was compressing and coiling together. And at the end of that, usually you see an explosive move either to the upside or downside. Now, we had a lot of reason to believe that it was going to go to the upside. However, the sediment in the market is turning pretty negative due to inflation. So as you can see down here, we broke below the trend line. This to me is an indicator to go risk off. I wouldn't go risk on at the moment until the trend turns around. Right now, the trend is turning a bit bearish. I do have to warn you guys of that. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean the stock is gonna go down to $18, $15. However, just in my opinion, it's not necessarily the time to buy the dip. You're not gonna miss out if you wait a few trading days. You know, maybe wait till after earnings, see what happens. Um, I don't think you can really go wrong with waiting at the moment since we did break this trend. Uh, another thing I do want to talk about, guys, is that the overall sediment in tech stocks is really bad right now. And it's because of this whole inflation talk that's been going on. So a lot of tech stocks have recently reported their earnings and they performed amazingly. They've beat expectations by a mile, but they're all trending down. It doesn't matter that they're even beating expectations their charts all look the same. So this isn't the greatest sign for Palantir. Obviously we have the catalyst of earnings coming up. However, even if they do smash earnings, it might just continue to trend down because right now that's the sediment in the market. When inflation takes off long dated assets like high growth stocks that discount their cash flows many years in the future don't normally perform well. And that's why you're seeing people take money out of these stocks. Um, if you look at the NASDAQ though, so one of the reasons why you're seeing tech stocks smash earnings but still trend down is because a lot of this is already baked into their stock price. So if we go back down to the March crash and we go up to where we are today, you know, we're up 100% in just one year. That is remarkable for an index like the NASDAQ to see. Normally this should take, you know, three to five years to recover. Obviously this situation has been exceptional considering most tech stocks have benefited massively. Uh, so it does make sense to a certain degree that they are skyrocketing. However, now that that inflation scare is kicking in, 
you're going to see people taking risk off the table and go more into the value stocks. And that's kind of the whole reflation trade we've seen happening. So yeah, guys, until this inflation talk dies down, I, it's going to be hard for these high growth stocks to perform super well. Uh, in my last video, I did talk a lot about inflation. I don't think this is going to be an issue long term at all for a stock like Palantir, Amazon, Apple, Teladoc. Any of them aren't going to be affected long term. This is just a scare and this isn't a situation like the 1970s or 80s or the 1920 recession. I covered that all in my last two videos. If you want more details around that, make sure to check out those videos. Uh, but anyways, this is just a really quick update for you guys on Palantir. Um, I am going to go more in depth on the chart and uh, what I kind of see happening here. I'm keeping an eye on it for you guys, but this is bearish. And uh, if we actually go, you know, look at even in trading view, a lot of people are calling uh, this as a bearish trend and they have a strong sell in the technicals. So I do happen to agree with this. You know, I, I don't think it's going to nine dollars like this guy's saying. Uh, he's clearly shorting the stock though, so that's probably why he's saying that. But anyways, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Make sure to drop it a big thumbs up if you found it informative, and make sure to subscribe if you want to see more Palantir updates, and I'll see you on the next video.